Hey guys, it's your favorite animatronic girl, the Dark Jerry here, and it's time for another check-in on our ant colony. Alright guys, see you there. Hey guys, it's your favorite animatronic girl, the Dark Jerry here, and today we are on ant stuff. As you can see, I've got a bunch of ant supplies, guys. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so I can show you. I've got some decorative rocks. I got some decorative fake plants. We've got our Outworld for the um, all-in-one, and then we have our modeling clay. So, let me go ahead and get this set up. Set it set where we can see. All right. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, guys, is we're gonna wanna get a spoon to go with this material here. That way, we can get everything taken care of, guys, via opening the packaging, of course, and getting it started molding into the outworld here in the outworld. In here. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Alright, so what we want to do, guys, is we first want to get it all pushed together into one big clump, like this, so it all stays as one big piece. <clears throat> Alright, looking perfect. And get all the seams and stuff out of it. Okay, so now we have a basic flat plate piece as you can see what you want to do guys is because we're gonna have to put it over here in this corner we're gonna have to put it down here in this corner guys so what I want to do is I want to get it as molded as I can to what I want it to be shaped like because we're gonna make kind of a little ant hill with it And we're going to put the ant hill back here against this plug. You see this plug right here? We're going to put that back there. So this is going to have to have entryways. And so what you do is you take your molding. You get it shaped to where you want to put it. Okay, now that we've got it shaped, now that we've got it shaped, guys, we want to go ahead and give them some chambering points. So what you do is you take your spoon like this, and you just make some chambers, like so. Just like that, where you get some nice little chambers there in the back, where you can see them. You want to make it so that it wraps around. Like this, so they have a tunnel way. And this will give them a pair of chambers. See how we've got a couple of chambers now here, guys? And a nice little tunnel way. We're going to want to make certain that we can get more than just those two chambers in, of course. And they don't have to be excessively large or anything. That's just me. But I always then like to give them some additional tunneling and additional chambering that I won't be able to see too much into. As you can see, see how I've got it going in like this, guys? In this way, they've got a little bit of extra chambering in there where they can get together and do their thing. And then you want to make certain that you get tunneling 
made between the two interior chambers or the however many interior chambers you're doing. That way, your ants will have a good spot where they can get everything taken care of and take care of their family homes and things. There we go, guys. So another small chamber here. Okay, so as you can see, we've now got tunnelways that work between the two ant tunnels and things. We've got our little ant holes here. We want to put a small starter hole for them to come in and out that comes out of the biggest chamber right here and comes in at an angle. See how we do that, guys? We could just get it like this. We then finish remolding everything together so that there are no seams. Then we're going to want to put some sand-like medium on top so that it has some kind of grit to it. And we have that in here. We already have the sand top. So we just do this to kind of semi-embed some of the sand into it, guys. Just like that. So see how we got a nice sand topping on it now? See like that? You want to get that slid over to the edge again. And then we just got to reshape it so that it sits where we want it. And so that our ant girls will be comfortable. Get it nice and adjusted. Now, as you can see, guys, I'm going to have a little problems if I don't do something about it up here. But this is real easy material to work with, so it doesn't really matter so much. As long as I can stretch out the back end there, get it placed. See how I've got it getting placed now, guys? Just getting it all put together and getting the little bits of lipping packed against the walling here. See how it packs against the walling like that? You just get it set up. Pack that down against it like this. Now that it's up against the wall in there. get a bit more of the sand material into place so that it has kind of that natural look to it. So I coat it with sand like this, guys. Then we get the sand medium into place so that it runs up to this now makeshift rock that we have here. You see the nice makeshift rock. Now, get to put that in because this will take overnight to dry guys so this is going to take some time but now we can put in the plants and so I'm going to put these roses over here and I want to tuck them into the housing material like that yeah there we go, guys. We want to put this piece of plant life, guys. You see this one piece here that I've got. It's kind of like a leafy little bush. I'm going to put it over here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then we're just going to kind of put some of our decorative rocks, some of our smaller ones, into place. I'm 
we got that behind the roses a bit, but not too much, because we want this leaf to still be part of their little system here. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Can put this little guy peeking out from underneath the bush here. I'm gonna make certain that the sand is as evened out as possible. All right. this back here with the rose like it's growing off the side of our ant hill like that right, let's see. we need just the right rock now guys for a feeding rock so this one will work perfect Okay. You just want to kind of get the sand mixed in with everything to make it look very real, very realistic. And there we go. Our all in one form carrier and Outworld. Look at that, guys. And then we have our chambers so we can see in. It's starting to look so good now, guys, because you can see into there where the ants are going to be in their chambers. I know it didn't come out the best, but it works for now. And there we go. It looks amazing, guys. We're doing so good with that. So good. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the Animatronic Girl signing off. I love you. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, smash that thumb till it's blue. And to throw your bullet stuff. Anyhow, gotta run. Bye.